unlimited amount of video walls, up to 16 camera views per wall. All right, over to the fun stuff. So as I said, all, uh, all I need is an internet connection um, to access my camera. They don't have to be on site. So I go to dashboard.meraki.com and I'm signed in, of course, with my um, Cisco account. So it brings me to our dashboard here and I can see all the networks that Meraki has. So this is not just camera networks, of course, this is uh, any Meraki products and you can see it's over 3 million. I think when I started in May, we were at 2.6 or 2.7 million. So it's um, aggressively growing. Now I've gone ahead and gone into our Meraki Corp um, dashboard already. Um, and, and this is what I see. So on the left hand side, and actually let me make this a little bit larger so it's easier on the eye. So on the left hand side, we have all of our different Meraki products. Today I'm here to talk about our cameras. If you only had cameras, you would not see everything over here. Uh, you only would see what you have and what you have access to as well. So over here on cameras, I've gone ahead and clicked on cameras and I can see my overview. I'll kind of come back to this in a second. I, I, I wanna show you something, uh, something cool on our, on our video wall. So on cameras and then video wall, I've gone ahead and, and populated that right here. You can have an unlimited amount of video walls. Now this is where users of the system are gonna spend most of their time. Um, and so unlimited amount of video walls up to 16 camera views per wall. So as I click on the next wall, um, excuse me, it's, it's right, the bike room here. We'll have our, our cameras load. We can see our eight cameras. Uh, our, our lovely um, network room, uh, just showcasing our uh, night vision here. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to our stairwell. A couple things just to point out real quick before I, I do is, uh, this quick motion search. These black boxes are privacy windows. So we don't want to record in our conference rooms. Um, so we can put up to 10 privacy windows uh, per uh, camera feed. Um, and I can show you that in one second. Otherwise, here's a, a look at our stairwell. Very, very lovely. Uh, four cameras here. Now, we had, uh, we had a complaint. Um, somebody had a box upstairs and they, they can't find it. Um, they don't know if somebody like moved it, um, somebody took it, uh, whatever the case may be. And because not very many people are in the office, they, they don't wanna go back, right? So we know that it was upstairs and it's no longer upstairs, but we don't know when this happened over the last week. So what I can do is I can draw a box and I'm gonna just draw this box right here in the middle of the stairwell. And it's going to uh, look at all the motion that happened in that zone. As I scroll down, we can see it defaults to the last 30 minutes. Well, this happened over the last week. So this is all natural language search. So I can just type in last week and it will take me to a week ago. I can specify a time, I can specify a day, but if I don't know the exact date, that's no problem. And as you saw, it very quickly loaded and gave us some uh, possibilities over here of uh, events that occurred. And you can see that all of these events have images that are overlaid on each other. So you can see how somebody's moving throughout a scene very quickly. I know I'm looking for somebody walking downstairs holding, carrying a box. Um, so I can quickly say, I you know, discount some of these images without even having to go in and play the video. Now, traditional systems, you're sitting there and fast forwarding or fast rewinding through hours and hours of video. Whereas here, I'm going to click through these composite images, what we call motion recaps, to see if I can find somebody carrying a box down the stairs. And here we go. So I don't even know what the date is today. Today's the ninth. I just went back to till uh, February 5th very quickly and found the potential um, incident that I'm looking for. Now from here, I can export this clip, uh, which will save in my dashboard for a full year. So we save um, incident data or exports for a year for you. I can download this image and, and email it to somebody say, hey, is this what you were looking for? And do you know who this is? Or I can play out the video. It's 16 seconds long. If I go ahead and play that, 
all four cameras in my video wall are going to go to that day and timestamp. So not only do I get the look at that one particular camera, I can see how this person moves throughout the scene. I can exit this search so that I get out of grid view. I can pause. Uh, I can uh, take a snapshot of all four cameras here. I can export this, like I said, and send it out. So super helpful when our customers set up their video walls to be able to track people through a scene all anonymously, right? That's key as well. All right, We've got a couple more minutes here to show you uh, one other thing and that was just kind of our retention. So if I go to one of our cameras, this is our balcony camera, it's our MV72X, so outdoor verifocal, 512 gigs of storage. And I go to my settings and my quality and retention. If I scroll down here, I can see at four megapixels and 15 frames per second, I'm gonna get six days of, of onboard retention. I can go to 90 days by taking that to 720p and eight frames. And as I said, this is pretty much, this is a, a sweet spot for our customers, especially in K through 12, we're usually re retaining data for two weeks or 30 days. Um, so here you can see, we can get to that uh, very, very easily um, with high quality video. And I can take that one step further by enabling motion-based retention, which will trim out any video where no motion was detected after three days. And you can see I get to well over 90 days based on the last seven days of motion. So this is something we encourage our customers to test out as far as the motion-based retention to ensure that you're getting what you require uh, and then uh, uh, a little bit more there. Now with that, I'm gonna skip back over and just go through a few more slides. I think I've got about five, five or so more minutes.